Hi everyone, I'm Rincy and I'm one of the contributing editors over at Book Riot. I am back to do another Read Harder Challenge recommendation video. First, I want to say Happy National Library Week. Basically, all of the recommendations that I have for you in this video, you can pick up at your library. So the challenge that I am going to be talking about is the Read a Book in One Sitting Challenge. And this is one of those that's like slightly more vague and open-ended, and you can kind of interpret this in a lot of different ways. You can try to literally read a book in one sitting, like not getting up at all. Some people are going like super hardcore and being like, I'm not moving from this spot <laughs> until I read this book. Some people are interpreting it as like reading it in like an entire session, like an entire evening. So you can like get up to go to the bathroom or get up to get like water and snacks or something along those lines. But you're basically reading it in one setting. So depending on what your interpretation of this task is, will impact sort of how you pick what book you want to read for this task. Before I get into the books, I just want to say that this video is sponsored by Libby, the one tap reading app from Overdrive. Libby connects with your local library and you can use this app to download ebooks and audiobooks on your iPhone or Android device. Libby is a fantastic app. I use it all the time and I will mention in a little bit a book where I downloaded the audiobook for the task specifically. So if you haven't checked Libby out yet, you can head over to meet.libbyapp.com. There will also be a link in the description. So yeah, now on to the books. So I will start off by saying what I personally did for this task and that is listen to an audiobook. And I highly recommend going this route, especially if you consider yourself someone who is like a slow reader or something like that. So I listened to the audiobook of The Pearl by John Steinbeck. And as you can tell, this is a very small book. It's a little novella. Um, this edition is less than 100 pages. So this is also just probably a good pick in general if you wanted to read a book in one sitting. But the audiobook version of this was less than three hours. I want to say it's a little over two hours, but it's been a little while since I listened to it. So basically what I did is on a Saturday, I had the audiobook downloaded from the library and I popped my earbuds in and I just started like doing a bunch of chores and tasks around the house. So I was like cleaning and like doing my laundry and all of this stuff. And one, it makes chores significantly more enjoyable, but two, it also worked for me because I basically did like two hours worth of work while listening to this audiobook. And so I basically just listened to it all in one sitting, so to speak. I've also done this with other books like Between the World and Me by ta Coates and Long Way Down by Jason Reynolds. I've like downloaded those and listened to them completely while doing these sort of long cleaning sessions. If you need to do some spring cleaning, it might be a good option for you to do something along those lines as well. The other option is to go like the comic book route and you can also like double this up with some of the other comic related tests if you wanted to. But yeah, you can pick up basically any comic you wanted. The one I usually recommend is Nimona because it has a nice through storyline as opposed to uh, trades that are multiple issues in one. So it has like more natural breaking points, but this is one that sort of carries you through the through the whole thing. And obviously like everyone I know adores Nimona. It's such a fun comic um, and I think it'll hold your attention even if you're someone who doesn't typically read a lot of comics. Other options include picking up uh, some novellas. These ones I have here are from Melville House. They're the art of the novella series and these are classic novellas from authors that you probably recognize. So I have The Death of Ivan Illich here by Leo Tolstoy. Um, I have Parnassus on Wheels by Christopher Morley, which is a really, really fun one. If you're someone who doesn't typically read a lot of classics, um, this is a really fun one to read. They also have like Jane Austen and Herman Melville and a whole bunch of different classic authors. Um, so these are obviously really great to pick up for this task as well. There's also been a recent survey of like almost like essay collections being released in tiny little novella formats. So I have The Clothing of Books by Jhumpa Lahiri as well as We Should All Be Feminist by Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie. If you haven't read either of these yet, um, they're both fantastic. This one talks about Jhumpa Lahiri's relationship with books and this one is obviously sort of like an intro to feminism. Yeah, both are really, really fantastic. And I think that they would work great for this task. And then the final recommendation that I have for you guys is Signs Preceding the End of the World by Yuri Herrera. Actually, any of Yuri Herrera's books would work for this task. I believe he has three that's been translated into English so far. But Signs Preceding the End of the World is my personal favorite and the one that like sort of gripped me the most. So even though it is obviously on the shorter side, so it's very easy to finish in one sitting, this story captivated me enough that I didn't really want to get up and do anything else until the story was over. So yes, that is my next recommendation. And that basically leads me to my final point with this task. It's to find something that you're truly interested in that makes you want to not really get up. There have been a handful of times where I just read a 
relatively normal length novel that really captured my attention. One of those was for Where'd You Go Bernadette? I just like love that story so so much and it captured my attention that I spent like an entire night reading it. Um, That one also does have some like non-traditional formatting to it like emails and whatnot so it does make it a slightly faster read. I kind of always jokingly say that any book can be a one sitting book if you really want to try hard enough. Maybe not like War and Peace or something, but you know, if a book captures your attention good enough, then you can basically read it all in one sitting. So in the end, it's about picking something that's going to be an enjoyable experience for you that you won't want to move. That's basically my recommendation for this task in general. So yeah, that's everything that I have for this video. Leave a comment down below if you have any tips or tricks when it comes to this task, or if you have any recommendations for books that you read in one sitting or the book that you are using to fulfill this task. So yeah, that's all I have for now and thanks for watching.